Good morning. It's Friday, June 16th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Holding Tightly to the Faith, and our scripture is Hebrews chapter 10, where the apostle writes, Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. One of the reasons true kingdom families hold together better is that we were designed to be people of faith. The how of holding tightly to our hope is that little phrase, without wavering. It's certainly easy to get sidetracked these days. I see it every year when we attempt to enlist people to serve in the church. Holding fast to God's faith has far more to do than just being convinced in your mind that Jesus saves. It has to do with serving consistently. Every believer who draws near to God's house should hold tightly to the faith with his service. The why of this is found in what Paul said about the promises of Jesus. They're faithful. They always come true. Jesus promised rewards to his followers who serve him faithfully, and it's a true promise. The issue of holding tightly to the faith is important for making an impact on this world, at the very least the small space we occupy in that larger world. I'm only vaguely aware of how God fits everything together, but looking back we see more clearly. I was searching through some old papers and came across a note from Sarah. Sarah was our daughter's friend. They were both age 10 when we moved to Jacksonville, Florida. She rode the van to church each week. Her parents never came. I had the privilege of baptizing Sarah. One Sunday, she came to me with a twofold request. She wanted me to pray for her uncle and his wife and also go see them to baptize their baby. When I met Sarah's uncle and his wife, it was clear they had very little church background. What they had was worried hearts over a very sick, premature baby in an incubator. They wanted me to baptize their baby. The doctor said he was going to die within a day or so. My heart went out to them. As a Baptist pastor, I couldn't baptize this infant, but I would pray for him with everything I had. I was fearful of the trust that couple placed in me as they asked me to talk to God for their son. I told them the little kitten-sized child was in God's hand. I held their hands and we prayed. That was in 1990. Five years later, Sarah wrote me this note. I still remember the day you prayed for Scott, my cousin, and gave his parents faith and helped them believe. On the 28th of this month, he turns five years old. Today is his party. Thank you for giving me the faith and hope. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah remembered that day as a time when her pastor gave her faith. At the time, my main thought was frustration over Sarah putting me in an awkward position about baptizing a baby. I'd never even laid eyes on his parents. I went because I was her pastor, but I went mostly because I couldn't deny Sarah's pleading eyes. Looking back, I know, and she also probably knows, it was God who gave her faith. In the end, God used a pastor doing his job to build faith in a little girl. And God used a 10-year-old kid's faith to spur a 40-something Christian pastor into good works. Sarah impacted my life with her faith, and my faith was strengthened because of her impact. For you today, God keeps his promises. If you forget everything you hear today, but you learn to trust in that one fact and hold tightly to it, Your faith will be rock solid in the only one who holds the keys of heaven, hell, and eternity. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.